In this uh, class, we will see in detail about the symmetry and uh, degeneracy. Uh, before going to my lecture, kindly subscribe my channel. My channel ID is youtube.com uh, slash at wasubi physics. Before going into the details of, about uh, symmetry and degeneracy, uh, we will see some fundamental aspects. We know that the energy eigenvalue depends only on n, that is principal quantum number. Uh, energy depends on which orbit uh, these electrons are revolving around. And so, are uh, degenerate with respect to both L and M, where L is the angular momentum, uh, orbital angular momentum, N is magnetic uh, angular, uh, magnetic momentum, M is magnetic momentum, L is uh, orbital angular momentum. Thus, for each value of n, uh, we know this, for each value of n, l can vary from 0 to n minus 1. Say, for example, if n equal to 2, uh, l will be 0 and 1. If n equal to uh, 3, then l will be 0, 1 and 2, n minus 1. Time. And uh, for each value of L, see, for each value of L, starting from 0, M can vary from minus L to uh, plus L, including 0, minus L to plus L. Uh, so, the total number of uh, degeneracy energy level is summation over, see, for each M, uh, we will have 2L plus, uh, sorry, each L, we will have uh, 2 plus uh, 2L plus 1 M. That is, uh, if L is equal to 1, then we will have minus 1, 0, uh, plus 1. So, that is, uh, L is uh, uh, 1, then you will have 2 plus 1, 3. If L is equal to 2, then we will have minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So, 5 value we will have. That is, when L is equal to 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So, the, the total number of degeneracy is in the energy level is summation over uh, L 0 to N minus 1, 2L plus 1. See, 2L plus 1 is an sum, uh, sum of the odd number. If L equal to 0, then it will be 1. L equal to 1, it is 3. L equal to it is uh, 5 so it will go on so the sum of the odd number simply we can say sum of the odd number is n squared this is a standard uh, formula for sum so uh, there may be n squared uh, t generacy uh, first of all uh, you know what is t generacy that is a different state having same uh, energy level that is you have uh, energy level, as I said, it depends purely depends on N, but the energy state varies uh, with L and M. Uh, however, this uh, energy is purely depends on N, provided uh, there is a, the T generacy with respect to M, T generacy with respect to M is a char characteristic of any central force field for which V depends only on radial distance R from some point. So, this is the fundamental idea about symmetry and uh, degeneracy. Uh, because we know very well, again I want to press this point, uh, that the energy, uh, energy eigenvalue depends only on N, not with L and M. L and M will only change the state, energy state of the wave function. An important aspect of symmetry has to do with its relation to the degeneracy of eigenvalue. Just now I, I have told you that uh, what is the degeneracy. Degeneracy is nothing but you will have uh, same eigen, energy eigenvalue uh, for different eigenstate. Uh, suppose that a uh, get psi a represents the energy eigenstate of a system so that uh, h psi a is equal to e a psi a and uh, that there is some operator let us say that operation operator is a uh, 
uh, which commute will be Hamiltonian. That is more important. Then it is easily seen that A gets I A is also eigenstate of the Hamiltonian with the same energy value E A. That is very, very important. Same, same energy eigenvalue. Then only we can call it as T generation. Thus, if uh, A, uh, get A is linearly independent of psi A, uh, this uh, energy eigenvalue is T generated. This is one of the very important conditions. That is, after operating the get, uh, psi A with the operator A, uh, it should be linearly independent of A. That is, you are not supposed to, uh, you cannot write this in, uh, as a linear combination of this uh, get psi A. Otherwise, it's, uh, uh, it's the same state with uh, some multiplication factor that you know very well. Uh, so, that, uh, this is uh, this energy eigenvalue is uh, degenerate. So, when uh, uh, when A, uh, A act on psi of A is linearly independent of get psi of A, then the, the energy eigenvalue is degenerate. That is one important point. We will have the proof of the same. Let us say the Hamiltonian is act on get psi A, just now we have seen, is equal to E A psi A. Here, another uh, assumption is we, uh, we have taken the operator which commute with the Hamiltonian. That is, uh, H, commutation of H with the A is equal to 0. Uh, that is, H A minus A H is equal to 0. That is, H A uh, operate on the psi A minus A H operate on psi A is equal to 0. You bring this to the right hand side. So here left hand side you have H A uh, psi A which is equal to A H psi, uh, psi A. You know very well when H, uh, Hamiltonian uh, act on the uh, get vector you will get the energy eigenvalue E A. So, uh, since uh, this energy eigenvalue is a uh, number you can take in front of the operator. So, this will become, uh, right hand side will become A gets psi A. Here also already, already you have A gets psi A. Here you remember that uh, the uh, A uh, gets psi, uh, psi A also eigenstate of the Hamiltonian with the same eigenvalue E A. So the, uh, uh, that's what we are calling as uh, degenerate. Then uh, we will take another interesting case. If uh, two operator A and P do not commute, that is, uh, commutation of A with P is not equal to zero. But both the operator A and P individually commute with the Hamiltonian H. Uh, that is. Uh, H, uh, commutation of H with A is equal to 0 and commutation of H with P also equal to 0. Uh, then the T generation is in, inevitable. Just now we have seen uh, H uh, gets I A is equal to E A gets I A. So we also know that uh, get P can be written as when the operator P act on the uh, get psi A, you will get psi P. So, and also you know uh, very well that just our uh, our assumption is uh, A, both A and P will commute. So, that means H P get psi A is equal to P H psi A because uh, H P psi A minus P H psi A equal to 0. Uh, so, uh, you can uh, write uh, like what we have done previously, we can use the same method. HP gets I A is equal to P uh, H gets I A. Here you remember that when H act on uh, the gets I A, you will get the energy eigenvalue E A. So now the, since E A is the number you can bring in, uh, in front of the uh, operator P. So this can be written as right hand side, it can be written as E A P uh, psi, uh, gets I A. So here already you have P uh, gets uh, psi A. So P gets psi A is equal to psi P gets psi P. So uh, by uh, 
by definition, this is psi p is equal to p psi a. So uh, this is another uh, eigenket. So h psi p. This I have written as h psi p. This is h psi p. This is also uh, sorry. This is psi p ket psi p. This is uh, also ket psi p. So and the Hamiltonian, uh, when Hamiltonian act on uh, psi p, uh, you will get uh, same eigenvalue e, like uh, previous case psi a, what happened in the case of psi a. You will get e a get psi p. So we have seen, uh, since uh, get psi p is not, uh, not necessarily an eigenstate of a, because it need not be an eigenstate of a, it is eigenstate of operator p uh, that means psi a get psi a is not equal to get psi b but uh, we have seen both have same energy uh, eigenvalue e a so uh, this is a degeneracy you have uh, two different eigenstate which are which is having same energy eigenvalue uh, this i can explain uh, taking the angular momentum operator as an example uh, I have explained in very detailed manner in my few lectures. I think I have given two or three lectures about angular momentum operator. In that, I have explained that Hamiltonian uh, will uh, commit with uh, angular momentum operator, L plus or minus. L plus means uh, rising operator, L minus means lowering operator. All this uh, detail I have given in my previous lecture. Here only thing is, uh, only important thing uh, that uh, H will commit with both lowering operator and rising operator. That means H uh, commit with L plus or minus is equal to zero. So this can be written as, as we have done in the previous uh, uh, case, uh, same procedure you follow. That is H L plus or minus psi N L M is equal to L plus or minus H uh, psi N L M. Because the energy depends on the uh, only the principal quantum number L. The L and M uh, changes its states. Uh, Eigen uh, state. So now, uh, if H act on uh, e, uh, act on psi, then you will get the energy eigenvalue E n because energy depends on only the uh, n. So uh, with uh, since uh, E n is a number, you can take in front of the operator lowering and raising operator. So this uh, right hand side can be written as e n l plus or minus uh, that is lowering or rising operator psi n l m in the right hand side i have kept as it is now uh, in um, in my previous uh, the three lectures i have detailly discussed in detail about what will happen when uh, rising and lowering operator act on the wave function so uh, when uh, l uh, plus or minus when lowering or rising operator act on the wave, uh, wave function, then you will get this, uh, you will get uh, uh, expansion coefficient or we use to say it's eclipse card on coefficient, whatever may be, you will get some coefficient which is equal to uh, square root of, uh, sorry, H cross square root of uh, L into L plus 1 minus M into M plus or minus 1. That is, this rising or lowering operator rises mth state by 1 or uh, lowering operator reduces the mth state by 1. Uh, however, the energy level will be the same. So, here when uh, lowering or uh, rising operator act on the wave function, you will get since it's a number, I have taken in front of the Hamiltonian operator. Uh, similarly, here when L uh, act on the wave function, you will get L plus or minus, you will get same expansion coefficient. So here M uh, plus or minus 1 depends upon whether it is rising operator or lowering operator. Uh, 
of course the energy value is, is the same you can uh, cancel out uh, this first term that is uh, expansion coefficient is and this can be eliminated ignored uh, or cancelled whatever may be so uh, the remaining factor is h uh, psi nl m plus or minus one so the uh, Rising operator raises the m state by 1 and lowering operator reduces the m state by 1. So, same thing in the right hand side. But, uh, however, the energy eigenvalue is the same en for both the cases. So, uh, uh, there is a degeneracy. If I, uh, as I said already, if l equal to 2, uh, then uh, you will have 2L plus 1 uh, mth state. That is L equal to 2, uh, you will have 5 m uh, dif uh, five different m. So you will have degeneracy 5. So in that way, it will go. This is about the uh, degeneracy and the symmetry, symmetry and degeneracy. Because when the system is symmetry, uh, your energy depends only on the radial uh, coordinate, not with the L and M. L and M used to change only the eigenstate. Thank you very much for watching my videos and supporting me continuously. If you have any question, uh, kindly send to my mail ID wasumku at gmail.com. My YouTube channel ID is uh, youtube.com slash at Vasubi Physics. Thank you very much for your support.